This your African king of comedy, Michael Blackson. You watch it real fast, real talk. Get real with it, my son. Finally, before we get up out of here, man, there is a lot going on in the world of boxing over the next yes, couple of months. Now, I'm going to tell you a few fights that's going down in September, and we ain't even get to the Wilder fight that's going to happen uh, next month just yet, or the uh, you know the 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 you know there's one there's one other big fight that's going to come up next month as well. But this month alone, you got two heavyweights going at it, two of the big dogs. Andy Ruiz Jr., former champion, Luis Ortiz, that's going down. And you got Clarissa Shields putting her belts on the line uh, versus uh, Savannah Marshall, that's going down. Followed by Canelo versus Triple G Part 3, that's going down. And then just, you know, just to end things off with a bang, you got Devin Haney versus George Cambosos Jr. Which one of those four fights are you most looking forward to seeing? Definitely, this is easy for me. That would definitely be Andy Ruiz and Luis Ortiz. I know it's not the trendier pick. I know Triple G and Canelo got a heated rivalry. This is the third fight, clear trilogy, a lot of hatred. But I would say Andy Ruiz and Luis Ortiz just for the styles and the contrasting styles. You know, Mexican, Cuban, you know, they bring something to a table. And one thing about Ruiz, I started with Ruiz right? Before I go to Ortiz. Ruiz, I think, is a guy that he doesn't get credit for his adjustments that he makes in fights. You know, I understand not everything is perfect, but I seen him get up the canvas in the first Anthony Joshua fight where he got knocked down, ended up getting Joshua out of there. When you talk about the last fight, the most recent one against Chris Ariola, he touched the mat. He got back up, mm -hmm. won the fight in an all-out war. So he showed that he can box make the right adjustments, even though sometimes he could get it a little careless in there. Um, When you look at Luis Ortiz, you know, I don't think he gets the credit for his boxing. A lot of people look at him as this powerful fighter. He got power. He definitely got power. We saw what he did to Charles Martin, knocked the brother into another, another country, you know, <laughs> but he can box defensively, offensively. He can move around. And that's what makes this fight great is that you have one fighter, who's actually on their ray and, and Andy Ruiz have a lot to lose and have to take this dangerous fight. Luis Ortiz is a very dangerous fight for anybody, and it doesn't come with a lot of, you know, reward, right? It's a high risk, low reward type of fight. But at the end of the day, it gives the boxing fans what they want to see. I don't care about that high risk, low reward from a consumer perspective. Yeah. I just want to see the best fights out there. And I think this is going to be a very, very good fight that's going to be possibly a fight of the year candidate. Yes, because we're always talking about guys not wanting to fight. And you got two warriors that we're going to see. And I got a lot of respect for both of these guys. You know, you talk about Lewis, uh, his, Ortiz, his, his boxing skills. The man can box. Don't, yeah. don't just think because he's, you know, that what they call him. They call him King Kong. But the man can box, uh, you know, outside of, you know, Deontay caught him with a, an amazing shot. But Ortiz was looking really good in that fight up until, you know, that that point. You know, he can really box. I, I love Ruiz. You know, I love the fact that, you know, he, he, he like you said, he will get knocked down and get right back up and get right back to it. And he'll knock you out after you knock him down if you're not on your P's and Q's. So I got a lot of respect for both of those guys. The fight I'm looking most forward to seeing, I'll be honest with you, though, it just was, you know, it's Clarissa Shields and uh, Savannah Marshall, because I don't think we've seen a, a a boxer dominate the way that Clarissa Shields has, uh, period. And that, that's with the men and the women. She's champ in two different weight classes currently. That's never been done before in either the men's or the women's side. Um, and then said, you know what? She pulled the Jordan move. Man, these chicks can't mess with me. I'm gonna go ahead over to UFC, get a UFC fight, or excuse me, not UFC, MMA fight in. I'm gonna get an MMA fight in. Let y'all get some time to try and catch up to me, and then I'll come back over. Yeah. Um, and so I'm looking forward to this one. One because of that, and two because I seen the press conference conference a couple of weeks ago with these two, and um, they, you know, she was talking heavy, Savannah. You know, good talking about some stuff dating back to the amateur days and whatnot. The, 
they were going at it. I so think they, she won. I, I think Savannah beat her in the amateurs, yes. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I, it, it it made me when when I watched that press conference, um, I started thinking, what was the movie with uh with Damon Wayans? Oh man, um, with the Great White Hype. You when talking they, about um when they had to go back and get the boxer who's they was like, well, because they couldn't find nobody else to fight Damon Wayans. It was like yeah, as a pro, but who was the one guy that beat him as an amateur? So they go back and get the white guy to come back. I know you're talking about. I forgot the name. Great, right? I think it's the, the Great White Hype. I think that's the name of the movie. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll let you guys know um, on next week's show if, if that's it, but I'm pretty sure that's the, it's the Great White Hype. But that's how I feel with this one. When I seen him going back and forth, the talk was heavy, and Clarissa Shields ain't letting nobody talk crazy to her. You got to show and prove in that ring. Amateurs, amateurs, but now <laughs> we talking about the pros, and ain't there, there has not been don't the only female boxer who and and dominated like this um is Layla um Ali. But even she didn't have the resume, you know. Obviously, things are a little bit different now than than, than Layla's era, but she didn't have the resume that Clarissa Shields has. But outside of that. Clarissa Shields is is walking through any and everybody, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to to seeing this fight. Obviously, I mean, I think you guys could tell I'm going with Clarissa Shields as the winner in this fight, but I think that's gonna be be a great fight. Um, the, with the in, in regards to the to, to the Triple G and Canelo fight, I'm looking forward to seeing it. But it's the third fight we've seen it twice before, so if I'm just picking. In, in the order, that probably will be the last of the four because I got Devin Haney and the George Cambosa fight um, as my second choice that I want to see. Mm. And it, it's it's more so because I want to see what comes after this fight. Because there's a lot of guys, you know, within those divisions um, that we're not seeing fight each other that I want to see fight each other. So I want to see if Devin Haney can get Cambosa's out the way and then and then who comes next. That's real. That's why I got that as my second choice of those four fights. Ah, uh, you know, when you talk about Devin Haney and Cambosos, you know, I wasn't really fond of the first fight. You know, I understand skills pay the bills, and you know, credit to Devin Haney. He's a fighter that he has his game plan and he sticks to it. He's going to out jab you, he's going to outwork you, and that's how he's going to win. But I think, you know, sometimes I try not to kind of you know, get into that mode where I'm looking at it from a promoter standpoint, because these are the promoter's jobs, right? To make a guy an attraction in boxing, to make him a pay-per-view star. I just don't feel like Devin Haney's style, from my personal standpoint, everybody got their, you know, things that they like about boxes, but, you know, I just don't think his style is exciting. Um, I would like to see a little bit more risk being taken on both sides. You know, the last fight, no guys was taking no risk at all, you know, and you can argue Cam Boosters was supposed to take the most risk. He was losing the whole entire fight. But I thought Devin Haney could have made the fight a little bit more exciting. So I'm not really, it's probably the last on my list. I'm not really, you know, looking forward to this fight. It's on a Sunday. Top of that, you know, football season is going to be already in full swing. So that kind of is another dynamic on why. But I do agree that what's next is probably going to be bigger than what this fight could ever be. And I think Lomachenko is what's next for the winner. Yeah, that, that's why I said that's that's why I really want to see this fight because I'm more interested in, in what's going to happen next. And I would love to see uh, see see those two guys go at it, Devin Haney and, and, and Lomachenko. I think that that's going to be a great fight. Um, so we're looking forward to that. This is your African King of Comedy, Michael Blackson. You're watching Real Friends, Real Talk. Get real with it, my son. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought.